Hi everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA, here to talk to you about drought solutions for California. And I'll tell you, if you can grow your own food, begin now. I found this great little system, it's called a garden tower, because it's, it looks like a little tower. It actually goes up, and then it uh, it has soil, it's a soil-based garden. This is the upgrade to it, it's a little, this one actually rotates around so you can rotate it for the sun. So it got stevia growing here. Great little system, great for kids, great for schools, or great for your backyard. Uh, but I thought, you know what? I can do better. So what I did was I ripped out the guts. Well, let me show you here before, before I, I go any further. The way this works is you put soil right here and, uh, and then if you have compost or what have you, or leaves, extra leaves that you don't want to eat, you, you push them in there. I put earthworms in there, so the earthworms are gobbling it up, and then there's holes inside this whole thing, so the earthworms gobble it up, poop it out, and then that's what they call um, soil, uh, really, really rich soil. So it pushes it out, and then it's, a, it's, a, it's an ecosystem. Well, I thought, you know what, you do have to get water, and you have to water this thing. The question I had for myself was, can I do better? I mean, this is an ingenious system. Can I do better? What can we do that could make this? Well, in view of what's going on in California and our mega drought, Cornell University and uh, Arizona State University have both concluded uh, in studies that California, the mega drought we're experiencing now, is gonna, 80% chance it'll go on, it's a 10 year drought. That's a good news. The bad news is there's 50% chance it's going to go on 30 years. So folks, this is serious stuff. So I would encourage everybody to start growing their own. However, what if you could grow your own and recycle the water and reuse those same water over and over again? And you could save 80, 90, 95% water. So what I did here was I tore out the guts from this little composting thing here, tore the guts out. I found a big container. Watch out, Roxy. Roxy. Okay, found a big container, filled the container up with water, elevated it with some bricks. I put some nutrients in here, so this is soilless. The What I use for filler here, these, these are called hydrotons. They're little baked clay balls, and uh, it's a great little idea from the hydroponic uh, think tank. And so I went ahead and put, filled this thing with hydrotons. I put a pump at the bottom here, and it shoots up here. In fact, right now, well, it's not running right now, but I have it go on for 15 minutes and off for 15 minutes. This is all grown soilless, no soil at all. And it's got the, uh, the 10 gallon container down here. So this stuff, look at how gorgeous this is. My goodness, this is, this is just beyond uh, belief. Look at the size of these leaves. I mean, my goodness nutritious. It's like a backyard farmer's market. So it's called the Garden Tower. I'd recommend that you uh, just, if, if you have the experience, or may, what I'll do is I'll do a workshop in the future on how to convert one of these systems into a system that actually recycles and reuses the same water. So the estimates are that about 90, you'll save 95% water by doing this, putting a pump, putting it in a big container. This is what we need to do in California. We need to make a difference. We need to think about drought solutions. This is a sustainability expert, Mike from Enviroscape LA, signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.